Cage Minds. We have Charlie Brown Williams with us. Thank you for the time, sir. How you doing? I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing well. We got to congratulate you on already with CCFC Chaos Combat Fighting Championships, winning their 145-pound title, featherweight champion, getting your first belt as a professional. How exciting was that? Tell us about it. Man, go going into the fight, it was I wasn't even thinking about the belt, man. It was fighting because I, I had a year layoff. It was my first fight of the year. You know, and so I wasn't thinking about the belt. Um, it was just getting the win. And then, uh, so during the fight, um, I ended up finishing the guy early uh, in the first round. And man, that place was quiet. It was quiet, you know, crickets. And then I hear somebody play the music, you know, and, and at that point, that's when I was like, oh yeah, man, that feels good to have this strap, man. So hey, man, it's, it felt good. Feeling love from everybody, like for like a couple weeks, you know, it was good. What's it like to quiet someone else's hometown to be able to hear that pin drop? That that's a moment, man. Man, I, I've never witnessed anything like that in person. It was just, um, it was unbelievable how quiet that place was. It was just, you know, nobody cheered, nobody booed. You know, it was just everybody was just shocked because their hometown boy got beat. You know, and he was undefeated. And you know, I guess that should happen sometimes. I'm sorry for the word. <laughs> It happens, undefeated, but now you're undefeated, 4-0. How does it feel post-ankle injury, I believe, to be able to be in action? You missed the whole summer. It sounds like you let, went a little house crazy being stuck at home. How? Tell us about that and recovering. Well, so I injured my ankle um, like early on last year, and I had a few fights scheduled, and I didn't... I wasn't able to participate because I couldn't even walk on it, and it was very frustrating because I was I wanted at least four or five fights last year, and I ended up with one, and it was real aggravating, you know. And now that my ankle's better, I you know I just want to keep it rolling, man. You know I want five fights this year, possibly six, maybe. You know. But. What did it take to learn that kind of patience and be able to go through that? recovery, rehab, working the injury out, and not rushing it so it's not something nagging you here this year? Um, man, it, it, was, it took a lot for me to learn. Um, I, I was hard-headed, man. Uh, icing, you know, uh, they tell you ice all the time when you're injured, and this time I did. You know, before I was like, ah, I'll, I'll be all right, you know, and this was a learning experience. Ice helps you get better faster, so, you know, it was good, you know, a good experience nursing that injury um but you know it's fully fully healed and man i'm ready to rock and now like we said be now as i was getting to you're working your way back down getting 135 pounds how happy are you to be getting to where you wanted to be fighting weight wise well at 135 man i haven't fought here uh, it's been about a year and a half so getting the weight off it's uh it's been a challenge um but i'm about six pounds out right now so i guess my uh weight cut it was I'm uh, actually ahead of my schedule. Um, I was fixing to be 10 pounds out last uh, next week, the fight week, but you know I'm four pounds early, so it feels good, man. Uh, I didn't think I could do it. You know, when they told me about the fight, I was sitting at 165, and I was like, dang, you know, and the holidays are coming up, and I'm not gonna be able to eat anything, you know. But I was able to, you know, uh, hold off on all the food and eat. You know, eat right during the time of the holidays, you know, and it feels good to be this low again and wait. You have the title at 145 with this promotion, mm -hmm. taking a fight at 35. What's your ask? expectations? What are you planning to do here with Chaos Combat? Um, well, man, I, I like, uh, they're a good promotion. Um, I'm not sure how many fights they have going on uh, before uh, I got their belt, but uh, they, treat, they treated me really well when I was out there, um, you know, and... As a fighter, man, you can't ask for any more, man. They, you know, they put me in a good hotel and, you know, fed me and stuff and got paid at the end of the night, you know, it's cool, you know, and hopefully, um, hopefully I'll get the 135 belt soon, you know, that's my goal to, to shop back there. That's what I want in my house. <laughs> Having all kinds of belts and yeah. you're looking for matching ones on the shoulders. Uh, Coming up with this next fight, what do you know about your opponent? Um, what I know about him is um, they told me he was going to come at me like a bat out of hell. So I think I'm going to have to just weather the storm for a few seconds and then just light him up with some punches. And 
maybe take them down to the ground and just do my thing where I'm good at. And over this time, the injury, this pro run, where do you feel you've been growing most in your game as a martial artist? Oh, man, uh, fitness. My, I've been in, uh, since my injury, I've been in the most fantastic shape I've been in since I started fighting. You know, I've, this weight cut, I figured out a lot of things about my diet that I should have done earlier on in my career and I wouldn't have hurt my body cutting weight. The, the, weight, the weight cut definitely and my fitness is where I've been growing the most. Uh, and, and inside the gym, um, I feel like Arlene's getting my striking good uh, and my grappling, everything's just holding good together, man. I think, I think I'm in good spot right now. What kind of mindset do you take into this fight? Oh man, my my mind is clear right now. Um, I'm just thinking about him, you know. Just uh, I got to be uh, my mindsets were watching his movement. You know, I got to be aware of everything that he's gonna do because you know he's gonna come at me, and I got to be focused on loopers, uppercuts, whatever he's you know whatever he's gonna throw. I got to be ready for that in the first minute of the fight, and, and then and then it's me. What's the goals for 2017? Fight. That's all. I just need to fight this year, stay active, and, and win. And then, here, catch you off guard with a question. Okay. Why are you the best kept secret in New Mexico? <laughs> for the New Mexico MMA scene. Uh, I don't know. Uh, that's, that's a good question. I, that's the first time someone's asked me that question. But I think it's probably because my, uh, my amateur career, uh, I didn't have a whole, whole lot of finishes. My It was... Earlier on in my amateur career, it was just all decisions, and and my last three fights, I, th I think I had two finishes and a decision, and then now my pro career, I'm at, I have three finishes and one decision, so I don't know, I think I could finish people, I think that's a, a secret of mine, you know, but now, now people know, but... What is it taking for you to get confident to go after those finishes? Uh, to keep my confidence up, it's, I have to be training all the time. Um, if I'm not training, I'm not going to have the confidence to do anything, you know. So I, I do everything I can to keep my confidence going. My cardio, my diet, and, you know, doing my boxing, wrestling, everything. Everything has to be together, you know, and that's where my confidence comes from. It's from my team, you know, the Wild Bunch. They, they drill with me every day, you know. Don't, they don't let me slack. You know, I've been tired this week from cutting weight, you know, and they're picking me up off the ground, getting me, you know, come on, you know. And, you know, that's that's... That's everything holding me together. It speaks to that family atmosphere you have here at Fit and HB. Oh yeah, man. Um, not only like my teammates, but the parents of the kids that bring their for the kids class, uh, the other students in the other classes. There, every man, this gym just supports us a lot. You know, everybody in here is family to me. Anybody you need a shout out to? Uh, the New Mexico Wild Bunch, uh, Damage Control Mouth Guards, uh, my wife especially, you know, and then my coaches Tom, Arlene, and JJ. Thank you for the time, sir. Yep.